Yeah, like, I enjoy reggae way more than rap, anything. Like, huh. you know, like, reggae is just amazing. You know, because it allows you just to be who, who you are. Watch out, boom shots. Y'all tell him to us a make the way to murmur now. So this one, y'all sure shot. If y'all stop, boom shots. Boom shots. Me, 10 years from now, me, 20 years from now, with $5 or $500 million, at the end of the day, whatever I tell you is going to be the truth, and it's going to be my honest opinion how I feel. Do the girls get different as you get? And what I, I mean, just, I feel that girls, girls are going to do what girls do. You know, as far as a girl knows if she's going to have sex with you or not. A girl knows if she likes you or not. Women know. Like, women, period, know. Like, so women know if, women can know you have money and don't want you for the money. They can want you for you. Then you got women, if you set your life up to be wanted because you got money, then women will consistently want you because you have money. But if you set your life up based off of like not that, then a woman will be able to tell. And the women who are like grounded based around money, then they'll just keep stay away from you. And I mean, for a person like myself, it just works in my favor, you know, because it's like, well, you wasn't gonna get money from me, you know. But definitely, you know, we could have a good time, just in general, you know. But you know, everybody's different, and every artist is different. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's a saying in the in in business or just amongst men, it ain't tricking if you got it. That's a valid statement, you know. It's like it's whatever, you know. It's to each his own. Like if you like to pay for pay for it, you pay for it. You know, it's there's nothing wrong with that. If you don't like to, and you don't have to, you know. So I mean, for me personally, man, you know, a lot of people put a lot of like restrictions and limits on life, and for me, I kind of just live it. Cause that's the only reason why you're here. Are you working with Diplo at the moment? I mean, you. you I mean, I'm I working like with. I'm working. I'm been cool with Diplo forever. You know, like the type of artist that I am. Like I'll be so cool with somebody. And we've never done no music before. Yeah. We're just cool. So it's kind of like homies, like, hey, man, I'm rocking the stage over here. Come rock out with me. Sure, because we're buddies. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I've worked with um, some of the people under the Mad Decent camp. And um, I definitely would love to work with Diplo whenever the time is right. But one thing I never do is rush music. I don't rush anything, actually. You know, it's kind of like, if it happens, well, hey, it happened. If it doesn't, well, hey, it didn't. You know, so it's kind of like um, I'm just happy that we have a good relationship because that what matters to me. Like we're cool off the wax and off camera. Coming off the original conversation we started on the Caribbean flavor and stuff. I mean, there's a lot of reggae dancehall collabs and remixes and so much stuff going on. I mean, do you have any love for like the dancehall swag and dancehall music? Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm a I'm a huge lover of music. Period. Like my catalog consists of everything. You know, I'm I'm probably one of the biggest Bob Marley fans ever to live this oh, earth. Oh, really? What's your favorite Bob song? I mean, for me, I live um in vain. Um, love in vain. Waiting oh, in vain. Waiting, waiting in vain. vain. Waiting in vain. That's my favorite song from Bob Marley. But um, I just I love what his interviews you know i love the the type of spirit that he carried the type of person that he was that's the type of person that i would like to see myself in 10 years not really filthy rich i don't really care i hate money so but you know just in general to like feel that anytime you have a conversation with a person you know they feel like you gave them money mm -hmm. you know like i want to be like one of those type of people you know like that'd be super rad to me and if you could do a collab with, I mean, Bob's not around right now, so if you could do a collab with someone who is around at the moment within that fraternity, would, could, do you have anyone in mind you would? I mean, for me, I just enjoy doing music. I would do music with his sons. I would do music with the Whalers. You know, like, I'll do music with anybody. Like, I do my own reggae tracks that are amazing. Like, they're really good. Like, they're super good. You know, and I haven't released them yet. And um, I, I think, I, like, one day I might just 
go on tour, like just do a, to a tour in like just small places mm -hmm. and just perform them with a band. Because they're like so good. They're like so good. Like, oh God, they're so good. And um, I really enjoy reggae. Like I enjoy reggae way more than rap, anything. Like, uh, you know, like reggae is just amazing. You know, because it allows you just to be who, who you are. And like, that's the only reason I do music for. Because it allowed me to showcase who I am as a person, like my fashion, my personality, everything that I enjoy as a human, and I allow it me to, you know, have music for it because I love music and why not have your own soundtrack to your own life? That's so cool. You know? Yeah. It's been a pleasure. I think I've asked all the questions. I mean I want I mean, you can give us something exclusive if you want to. I know I can't push you to, but if you wanna like end it with telling us something nobody else knows go for it what is the what is something that nobody else knows yet okay well i've already told you that i'm finishing up my album um i don't know like all my secrets are so juicy <laughs> they're juicy man like that's what i want to they're know, like man. they're like like it's like almost like if i told it to you you wouldn't believe it i'll, I'll try and believe it so it's like well, you know, it's, it's bigger than just me and you. I feel like anything I tell you, you believe it. Okay. In a personal, like just from the standpoint of the type of energy that I shoot off as a human to people that get close to me, you know that I'm not lying. I don't have any time to waste your time to even lie to you. But, you know, it's like for the people watching this, it's kind of like they're not here, so they can't feel how real it is, you know. So it's kind of like that's why I just want to wait to the right time. And because I, I hate to have things in the air. And then when, like, when you put things in the air, people hold on to it so tight. I'd rather you just know that, dude, this album is so dope. And the features are so dope. And um, it's a song on there called Relax. Great. No one knows that, right? It's, nobody knows that. It's a song on there called Relax, and it's my favorite song. It's number eight. And it's amazing. It's amazing. And does it make you relax, or is it one of these hyped uh, up? It's guaranteed, supposedly, that if you listen to the album from top to that point, you automatically become quiet. So if you played it in a room of people, mm -hmm. they automatically get quiet. Okay. You can't really talk when it's on. Like you, you tend to just like chill, and it makes you reflect on your life. And I love that. That's my favorite record on the album. Number eight. And that's pretty good. I can't wait. That was really bad. I should not give up my day job. 